Hi everyone and happy Monday! Time for another planner page and today we have this page here which is part of a larger design from Lost Ocean. Now I know this is quite a daunting page but it's in the planner so we're going to have a go at it and I thought I would try something a little bit different and fun and just show you we're not going to do the whole page there's a lot going on there probably going to pick out a section to do um, some of the shapes repeat but I don't think it's an actually a repeating pattern in that we've got a shell here and a shell here and a shell here actually that shells next to that big round thing there and that shell there isn't doesn't appear there so maybe it slightly repeats yeah maybe it does I'm going to find it a bit tricky to try and find a sec whole section that sort of is the you know a whole bit so I'm just going to do a few bits and bobs and see how we get on I'm going to zoom in here and do something from here like with our starfish and our shells I think that's a nice bit to do there we go. And I'm going to use my Castle Art metallic pencils. I thought it would be really nice just to try something a little bit different on this page. I'm just going to get started. And I'm going to start with this one called the uh, Melange. And I'm going to do my starfish. Now the metallic pencils you can use just in the same way that you would use your non-metallic pencils. So I'm going to push harder and do more layers on the edge and a little bit less towards the middle of our starfish. It might be tricky to see because his um, legs are quite thin, but uh, you'll see the effect on other on the other items. Now I find with the metallics, they look more sparkly. They're not really sparkly if um, if you press harder or add more layers but I like the effect of layering them up a bit so that you get darker and lighter areas like I would with a regular pencil so I don't get too bogged down with trying to make it look really really sparkly I just uh, I just layer them up and have fun with them I like the colors so there is our starfish this is sort of you notice the end is really gold but it doesn't look it looks like an antique gold, I think, sort of tone, which I like. So there we go. I'm just trying to go over those edges to really emphasise them. You could go over that centre bit a bit more heavily as well. Let's do that. There we go. So there is our starfish. Nice and simple. Now, the two shells, these are different shells because that's a bigger one than that one, but I'm going to do them the same colour. My idea is probably to repeat the same colouring through, so if I do both shells the same, it makes it a little bit easier for me, um, knowing which colour I did um, for them. And I quite like doing them a sort of um, corally type colour. We don't really have anything quite like that in here, but I'm going to use the rose argent which is a sort of pinky pinky red muted red maybe i'm going to use the same technique as this just because they're quite small shapes particularly in lost i think in the book they're a bit smaller but i um, can't quite remember I don't have it to hand i had this plan last night when i was um just um i'm going to layer that up again when i was just waking up that would be really nice to clear some shelves in this um, room where I record to put all my books because at the moment I have them in my sitting room where I at my desk and although it's nice to have them handy they're really messy the problem is in here all the shelves are full <laughs> so I don't know what I would do with the um, um, stuff so you can see where I've layered it up a little bit more on the edge I'm going to do exactly the same with the same colour with this rose argent on this one. Now next you could do all of the other circles like they're pebbles and not vary the colour of them at all. Um, that is an option for you. But um, um, you know it's not going to look really interesting but on the other hand having a simple palette can make it easier to colour and um, give some sort of um, 
the repetition can be nice on the eye. Let's put it that way. I can't really think of the words I'm looking for. I'm just going to try and smooth this out. Emphasise that dark edge. Try and get a nice graduating colour. It's not always easy to see. Particularly when you're using a metallic material, the light can reflect off it. It probably doesn't look too bright here. But if I, you can see how it does shine. Can you see that? And you can see it on the starfish. So, you know, at certain angles it can be a little tricky. But that's okay. Let's put you in the middle. So my thoughts are perhaps to do all of the pebbles. I quite like the idea of doing them in blue. But maybe the background would be blue because it's like the sea. Or maybe it would be sandy. Or sometimes it could just be black. Um... Oh, I'm not really sure if I'm even going to do a background. So I'm being very indecisive. Um, let's try some blue. I really think that blue is going to look nice. It's just, just in my head. Now this is my favourite, or one of my favourite blues. This is the Peacock Topaz. It's a really dark blue. And for these, I'm just going to go around the edge in a dark um, colour. Like this just in the same way I have with the others and then as I come in do less layers so we fade towards the middle now if you want it more shiny um, what you could do whoops, is, um, is put some sparkly pen on it now you could choose to just go around the outside go around the pattern that's on it or all over you know if you use one of the sparkly pens which is see-through then you can do any of those options so that's one of the blues um, I think I'm just gonna use lots of blues and random it randomize it and you can also help you see this is a crystal blue what the blues are like in the uh, in this set I think I'm not going to worry about trying to make a pattern I'm just going to uh, as I say do lots of random blues all over um, so where this shape repeats um, somewhere, probably, I <laughs> can't find it, um, I'm not going to make sure it's exactly the same shade of blue. I think that's just too difficult with a pattern like this. It is how I've done it before when I did it in my original book, but it's not what I'm in the mood for doing today. Actually, bear with me. I'm just going to pop those blues back in the tin. And then the sapphire, this again is a really pretty blue. Very vibrant. Now, one another way of tackling a page which like this is to take some sort of stencil or draw yourself some sort of picture on the page. I've seen people do bubbles, um, jigsaw pieces, just shapes or anything really. You could trace um, a seahorse or a fish or draw one and then only colour the bit um, either within the item that you've drawn or outside of it. Or you could do the inside grey, the outside coloured. There's lots of different options and it helps to break it up a bit and make it more, less daunting really, galaxy blue. So that's the way I've seen it done. It is something I considered when I was looking at this page but don't really have a stencil for a large thing. A big circle maker, but I didn't think that was quite the thing. This is the azure blue. So um, in the end I just decided to, to do the metallics, which I thought was a different approach. Not seen anyone do metallic pencils on this page. I'm sure people have. I'm sure this page has been done so many times in so many ways, but I've not seen it. So. That was something different for you. Um, going the other way in our blues now. Oops. Well, that's a green. Hang on. We may have used all the blues. Kelp green, Avalon green. Yeah. I think there's only those five. I say only. That's quite a lot. So we'll do. A, we'll go back through them again and do a few more. So we'll go back to the peacock topaz. Now the peacock topaz was this one. So. What I don't want to do is make it too contrived because if you try and space them evenly, it looks a little bit odd. 
And if you try never to have any the same next to each other, it also looks odd. But you want them to be fairly well spaced out. You don't want clumps of the same colour. So I'm just going to sort of go around doing a few different ones. See where we go. It's quite a nice picture this to do for the summer. So think about beaches and holidays and that sort of thing. Um, I think I'll do one there. I'm just going to do this little bunch here for you to see. I still am un undecided or indecided? Undecided, I think is the word. Crystal blue, back to that one. can't remember which the crystal blue is, so I'm going to do one over here. Oh, it's that one. Or is it that one? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm still not sure about a background. But uh, we'll see. I think it's a decision I'll make at the end. Because of the colours I've used for the starfish, I don't think I want to do sand as the background. Certainly don't want to do sea as the background. Um, that's that would be um, too, we've got the blue so much blue going on. Um, so I'm not really sure. Um, I probably black would be the best option if I don't stick with white. I may just stick with white. I mean, these little sections of black to colour in between each one, they're not too big. So it wouldn't be massively daunting, but... Whoops! <laughs> My pencil slides away. Sapphire. That's that one. It's our hottest day of the year today. Um, I'm recording this in July and many of you, if you're in the UK, and some of you I think may know from other countries, July the 18th is forecast to be the hottest day we've ever had in the UK. Now, where we are, we're fortunate, we're not right in the centre of the hot spot, so we're a few degrees cooler. It's still hot. But what I'm feeling so grateful for, I really, really dislike hot weather. But what I'm feeling so grateful for is the fact that we have a breeze. At the moment, it is, um, what time is it? 10 to 10. And there's still so much of a cool breeze that my feet are cold, <laughs> which is lovely. Um, my children have refused to open the French door near where they're sitting because they say they're freezing. So uh, at the moment, we're just sort of enjoying the uh, the coolness while we can, knowing that it's going to get warm. But this forecast for this breeze to continue, which is nice, yesterday didn't really start getting warm till about four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, noticeably, we'd shut the curtains to keep the sun out, which is what I've done in here. I've got my light on. Um, and um, um, I'm going to switch colours. I'm getting a bit carried away with that one. Galaxy blue. Um, I don't know which colour this is. Let's pop some there and see. Hmm, it's quite dark, aren't you? Um, so yeah, I've just got my lamp on. It's quite light, even though I've got a blackout blind at the window, but it's in front of the window. And so the light is coming out of the sides and uh, making it quite bright in here anyway. But uh, yeah, as I say, I'm just feeling really thankful that it's okay. And last night it got down quite cool. I had the French door open in the bedroom, which is about half a metre from where I sleep. And uh, I could feel a breeze, even though I had the curtain shut. I could feel a breeze on my face nearly all night long. It was just glorious. I was lucky. Children, on the other hand, complained that it was freezing cold. <laughs> I think freezing might have been a little bit of an exaggeration. <laughs> but anyway. 
but they weren't in my room. They were in, and um, they were in the room together. My son can't sleep in the attic room in this time of year, as your blue. Um, it's going to fill in the gaps. Um, it's uh, just too warm for him up there. Thing is, you can't keep the windows open at night because they're Velux windows. So the blind is built into the window. When you open the window, you can it just lets so much light in that uh, that it's just like daylight until you know when the sun sets, and then in the morning again, very bright. So he's sleeping in with his brother at the minute, and he's sleeping on the floor. So he gets the draft, which um, I think would be glorious, but yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you probably can't probably put my hand in the way. But there's not a lot of technique here. It's just harder colouring on the edge and less in the middle all the way through. I'm just going to do this one. I could just keep talking and doing the whole page, but I'm not going to because I've got other videos I want to make for you today before it gets too hot. So when I tip that to the light, you can see that it is shiny. But when I put it down flat, you can see the colours. I think it's quite pretty. I am. Um, I like all these blues. So I'm going to finish this off later today. And I'm sure I'll have a finished picture for you because it's not too tricky um, off the page. Um, if I decide to do a background, you'll see it. But main probably won't. But um, anyway, there is that page. Um, I'm going to... Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. So we've only got the one pink. Now, if you don't have metallic pencils, you could do this in any pencils in this way. Just pick five different blues, your pink, your your sort of green gold or Naples yellow, ochre, yellow ochre, that sort of colour, and just go for it. You know, it's really straightforward and it's going to be quite quick. You know, that's taken me, what's the time, 17 minutes. And I've been talking and going slowly to show you. So you could probably get it done quite quickly. You know, it doesn't have to be really daunting. The reason I've picked out these shapes is because they're really easy to spot. Any of this is so detailed that I wouldn't, that if I tried to say do every one of those the same colour, I think I would not find them all. You know, I'd get a bit lost in the circles. So I think it's easier just to do them in a mix of blues. That's just my idea. But I hope that's given you an, a few ideas on how to tackle the page. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I do hope you have a really lovely Monday. And as I say, hang on to the end. You can see a completed picture. Thank you so much for watching. Um, oh, please do subscribe if you haven't already. Um, you can click the bell and and um, select when you get notifications for the videos, whether you get them never, occasionally, or for every video. And then um, you'll, um, you'll be able to know when my next one comes out. Um, that's brilliant. Thank you so much for watching. Have a really, really lovely day, and happy colouring.